Uh, for us, it's easy to say, but difficult to admit in developing countries that they also need to limit their emissions. They have to start to control their emissions in, in a very effective way. Most of the countries are poor and even the middle-income developing countries will find it very, very hard and challenging to, to change their technologies, their systems and so on. Uh, in relation to intellectual property, it's a major component of the technology challenge. Of course, there are many technologies that are not patented, they are in the public domain. And here, what we, we, we require is for the countries to do their own needs assessment, to identify the technologies they need, and then to have the technology at the cheapest cost, either to purchase them or to help the developing countries to make their own technologies which are in the public domain. Even then, they will need a lot of financial assistance. Yeah, the issue of intellectual property rights and the patent has been repeatedly mentioned as the main barriers for the bring country to get access to technology. And um, it's for years that they're asking for information on the, the access to technology that are available in the public domain. And uh, it has been tell, told by many uh, developed country partner that uh, all technology I uh, belong to the private sector is not uh, nothing that uh, they can this information can be made available from but from the discussion that I heard today is that there are information available for free that there are public technology that are available in the public domain and can be shared and please check it before you go out and purchase the license so in a nutshell uh, you think that uh, these are two sides of the same coin, uh, uh, climate, uh, controlling climate emissions in developing countries and making new te technologies uh, better available and more affordable. Yes, them. yes. I mean, I think the analogy is in, in relation to medicines. Mm. If the European uh, Union, for example, you know, has $100 million <coughs> and, and they would like to help African countries who have access to medicine, but the price of medicine goes very much mm. down if it's a genetic medicine. Mm. Then for the $100 million that is given to Africa for medicines, you can save, uh, let us say, 5 million lives instead of 50,000 lives. And in the, in the case of, uh, of climate change, with that same amount of money, you could get the developing countries to, to go on a rate of mitigation you know, 5 or 10 or 20 times faster than if they had to pay the full cost of, uh, of the technology. And I think this is the way to go forward if we really want to, to tackle climate change as effectively as possible. Without the provision of technology and finance, it would be impossible, almost impossible for the bring country to actually agree on taking further action or step. And as the, it mentioned in the, in the, even the submission for 1970 that uh, patent and IP is one of the key barriers. And we need to address this issue and find a solution. Mm -hmm. So or even a proposal to set up the fund to buy down the IP, this issue is on the table and we cannot avoid to discuss this issue and we must find a way to address this big this issue. And if we can, can are able to come up with some ideas, then it would, be, I mean, uh, enhance the chance of getting a very good agreement on this matter in Copenhagen. We need to understand that without substantial help from our side, from Europeans, Americans and other countries in the rich part of the world, the developing countries simply cannot meet the climate targets which they need to meet uh, to, uh, to, uh, to avoid catastrophic global climate change.